Hi there, everyone. Um, just going to provide a short little uh, briefing on your final presentation, uh, which now has um, the assignment guidelines available as well online. So if you go to the assignment section, um, you should note that you can click on the PDF and up will come the guidelines. I highly suggest you read through this in detail, both to see what the required topics are and what you'll be speaking about in your presentation, but also uh, the grade breakdown is here as well. Okay, uh, You'll notice that the majority of the required topics are things you've already produced, work you've already done for parts one and two of your iMake project, but then this part, this assignment, this presentation is purely going to be in a style or format as if you are trying to teach or show coaches or you know if your topic is more uh, rehabilitation focused a movement practitioner how to use your QMD so it's it's primarily just the qualitative movement diagnosis coaching guide itself not so much focus on the experiment you've done uh, to help support your critical features but you will include that. I'll show you where. So the presentation here, 20 to 30 minutes in length. Uh, your required topics, again, as I, I've stated, you'll notice a lot of these main headings are exactly what you've already done in parts one and two. However, again, the focus and the goal is presenting to the class as if their coaches or their movement practitioners that are going to be using your coaching guide. Okay, so make sure you take that perspective and that paradigm that will help guide you through. Okay. Of note, here in the preparation tool, uh, so step one of the QMD, you'll notice this is where you want to bring up your iMeg experiment or research that you've done yourself. Okay, Because, again, the whole point of that research was to support one of your critical features. Well, here's where you get to talk about it. Now, it's a very brief synopsis. I, I would suggest trying to keep it as short as possible, but be explainative. And you've done the work, so share it and show it off to your to your peers. It's a great point in time to be able to do that, okay? And then I've provided a structure skeleton here, not only for that component, but for the whole presentation for you to follow, okay? Um, last note that I'll make is you'll also want to um, structure it in a way where you're using sample data so real data that you've collected from your uh, in your experiment or maybe just uh, someone that you can use as a sample to put them through the QMD okay because you're going to be ex explaining the QMD but then it helps to see how it's actually applied that's the whole goal is to apply it so if you look here we can notice that there's two possible formats that I suggest you follow for that so for format one, you essentially go through all the main points as illustrated in your assignment or presentation guideline. And as you go through, you incorporate or weave this sample data or the sample person demo of your QMD at every si single step along the way. And in particular, when you're using your experiment or explaining the phases of the critical features, definitely use sample photos and or video at that component okay that's one one format okay again just as valid a format or means of doing this is format number two where essentially you talk through your qmd as if you're just uh, sharing with the coaches this outline this template for it but then at the end you from start to finish, apply your QMD to someone for their sample data. So for example, you have a participant, uh, you talk about their phases and their critical features, you talk about their the observation plan, you show how it's applied, you evaluate their performance, you prioritize where their uh, weaknesses are and, and strengths and weaknesses. Then you walk through an actual intervention for them start to finish with the sample. So again, you can do that step by step along the way and we'll just follow along as you uh, provide the structure and explanation and then a sample for it or you can just have one person at the end, okay?
Both are great, both are right, um, and we'll ensure that you include all the right information, okay? Uh, but again, even in this setup, I highly suggest during the phases and the critical features component, it's obviously helpful to have video and or uh, illustrations uh, like photos for that part, okay? Okay, so again, if this is um, maybe reviewing this video and uh, the uh, guidelines seem a little different, might be because this video is just from a different year and I've changed the guidelines a bit. So go to the assignment guidelines and follow those. The ones that are posted in the PDF, follow that first and foremost. And then this is just a general guide or walkthrough as far as an approach that you want to take to the QMD presentation. Okay. So have fun uh, making this presentation, have fun sharing this uh, with the class. Uh, we all know how hard you've, you've all been working, uh, each group, so um, now's your chance to get up and share that with everyone.